waiting for the frame to load. Uh, you're playing a simplified Pac-Man game. You start at the point zero zero, and your destination is target zero, target one. So, so target is uh, is basically an XY thing. I wonder if I changed the language to change this. Okay, no, because ideally you have like a object dot X, object dot Y, but whatever. You have several goals on the map. The I've goal starts at uh uh. Okay, so you. Ch Turn you and your ghost simultaneously you may move in one to four direction, going east, west, north, south, uh, one unit away. You escape if you make the you can reach the target before any ghost reach you for any moment. If you reach any square at the same time as it goes, it doesn't count as an escape. Return true if only the possible escape. Okay. Um hmm. I mean I so this is Uh, so what I'm thinking right now is I'm just this seems pretty straightforward um, because you can only move uh, north uh, north south east west um, uh, so you know so the target is always going to be just Manhattan distance away from you uh, which means and since you start at zero zero is literally just uh, target dot x plus target dot y. Um, Uh, and try to think, um, uh, and I mean, so the, so the same thing with the Manhattan distance applies to the ghosts, uh, and ghost sub, if the ghost sub I should, could, uh, I think it's just, it may, uh, so my, my initial intuition is that, uh, if ghost sub I is closer to the target then you are then then uh it it would be um then the ghost can hit you because they could just wait at the target anyway um if uh yeah i think i think that's maybe the intuition that's enough uh, i mean i think <laughs> i wish i have like a white so i could kind of draw this out a little bit uh but the fact that you start at point zero zero simplify things a bit though you know in theory uh um uh, in in theory, you would just um, you know uh, uh, normalize it to point zero zero at the center if you have to, but uh, and I'm thinking like uh, uh, I need to have a things so I could draw stuff for next time, but but you could kind of divide uh, um, the map into into four quadrants. Um, or maybe more actually. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven quadrants. Uh, so, and three of those quadrants meaning if the ghost. No, well, one quadrant. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think my intuition is that if you could get to the target before the ghost can, uh, then it counts as escape. Uh, and it has to be all the ghosts. Because uh, I think. I mean, you could probably like do some simulation where it tries to like to to ghost try to do some fancy things and try to catch up to you. But I think like if the but it seems like it is worded in such a way that um, I think the ghost would just have to wait at the target to wait for you, and if you and then just wait forever. So in that case, you're not going to be possible to escape. And the ghost is, and since that's the optimal strategy, uh, it only really matters the Manhattan distance. So I think I'm just going to code that up like that. Um yeah, okay. Uh so and also there there are multiple ghosts, so um so the um yeah, so there are multiple ghosts, uh multiple ghosts. Uh so if any one of them can reach the target before you can, then you cannot escape. Okay. So let's so I'll just talk the distance so the distance between uh you and the target is just the Aurelian distance. Uh, can it be negative? Just to make sure. Okay. Uh, well, so it could be negative. Uh, but I think it's still, what I say still stands. Um, 
there. It makes this part, um, you know, you just have to be careful. So that's the distance between you and the target. Uh, and now we just iterate over all the goals. So if we go, uh, okay. And just, yeah, variable name is not perhaps the best, but, uh, Uh, yeah, I mean, I think as long as we're consistent with the thing, it should be fine. And I think maybe in theory, I could have abstract this to a function like I did in the la one of the previous ones, but um, should be okay. I mean, but this is literally one line. I don't know. But these are things I would point out because technically you could also just, you know, from line eight and line eleven, that now there's some uh, repeating myself there. So in theory, I could do that, and you know. But uh, for now, I'll be okay. If distance is smaller than or equals to d, that means we get there at the same time. Return false. Uh, otherwise, you just return true, uh, meaning not, none of the ghost is closer to you. Uh, I guess I wonder how does this work. I'm hoping that's true. Okay, so that works for example one. Is there a way to select it? different testings? No? Okay, fine. Uh, so I have to type myself. Oop. Okay, and then now let's, let's test this one. Uh, that one looks good. Uh, and now let's test the last one. Um, oh, well, okay, fine. I need to subscribe. Right. Can I do it now? Okay, so I mean if it's all three tests, let's go. Let's submit this. Uh, okay, Whew. well, that was good. Uh, I actually did forgot when I started, but that was pretty quick. Uh, so let's do another.